was the catalyst for starting this program? Um, so first off, I'll just say my mother is probably one of my biggest inspirations. Um, I grew up sort of watching her navigate entrepreneurship at a very young age. Uh, she migrated here from Colombia, um, basically, you know, right when she had me. And she kind of started her, she's an esthetician, and she opened up a Medi Spa literally by doing one chair in another salon at a time and then grew it to three salons at one point. Wow. And then kind of like the impetus of it all is like one day with my husband, we were trying to get massages and I didn't love our options. We didn't love our options. It was either, it felt like we were gonna have to splurge or we were gonna have to pay next to nothing. And I felt like, I felt really guilty for very different reasons. Um, and I hated that. I felt like there was something missing right there in the middle. And then I guess it all just sort of snowballed. I was like, wow, I think I need to kind of, you know, change up what the spa industry looks like and modernize it and make it more attainable, accessible, and also inspiring. Where did the advocating for mental health support come in? Um, so really, kind of started with my husband. So growing up, I didn't even, the word mental health wasn't thrown around. I'm an older millennial and I'm Latina. So <laughs> the way we deal with mental health is either yelling it out or like not speaking about it at all. And I feel like we didn't have a health, I didn't have a healthy outlet growing up and I didn't even talk about it. I didn't know it was a thing. Um, and it wasn't until my husband really came forward with um, what he goes through every day. He has an anxiety disorder and it was just, it was really eye opening. And I had to completely immerse myself in what that may feel like. Um, and I still do. Um, and so for Chill House, I knew that, it, you know, even though we're, we do services in our spa and our products are catered around bringing that spa experience home, I didn't want it to just end at that. You know, I wanted to be able to speak to people that, you know, we fully understand that not every um, anxiety, depression, stress can be cured with, you know, pretty nail art and massages, though I wish that were the case. Uh, you know, you really have to do the work. So our goal is really to be able to partner with organizations that are doing that heavy work um, and support them however we can and really want to continue to destigmatize what mental health is and make it more of a conversation point, not just have it be something that we continue to bottle in every day. I love because there is such a tie between wellness and beauty and the mental game. And I love that your husband inspired this and that you were able to fold it in and incorporate it. And yeah. I think that it's just wonderful that Thank you're taking you. care of people on so many different levels, but trying to like Venn diagram it in the same way with mental yeah, wellness. Absolutely. Now, um, we're going to do something today um, that's a flower art. I yeah. happen to love <laughs> the word flower, all things flower, flower beauty, flower films. I I'm live under the banner of flower. Um, so I was excited about this. Will you teach me how to do this? Yeah, so it's really simple. I see you have a red nail bed right there. So I think a white would be a great kind of contrast to the red. So you want to use the little marble um, coaster there to dip as much polish as oh, you. Oh, yeah. I see where you're so going with that. So throw it on there, and that's going to be like your your home base for dipping. Oh, this is fun. And dotting, dipping and dotting. Okay. So just kind of you know light little dot right here, or like put the little dotting tool. Am I doing a petal or the center? So you're going to go around. So you're going to basically do a bunch of dots, five to be exact, around. You're trying to connect the dots. And you don't want to press super hard because that could maybe potentially smudge the polish underneath. Okay, so keep it really light. So demo and I'll follow. Two, three, four, and five. And see, you see, oh. it just kind of le leaves like a little. Thank you, thank you. Words of encouragement. So super cute, and you leave a little bit of space right in the center there, so that. You get that little center flower contrast. You've got it, you've got it. Just connect the dots, five total. Oh. And so this is a, such a cute design that you can do like with your daughters. I am loving this. My second and third one are not so bad. It just took Oh my me. God, you killed it. It's like so cute. My first one is uh, like the pancake and uh, Always. Um, That's a great analogy. My first pancake was a disaster. Okay, we heard from some of the women that you've helped um, thanks to your generosity. And um, if it's okay, can I share it with you? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Take a look. 
Cindy, thank you for recognizing Half the Story and for advocating for mental health. Cindy's support of Half the Story has allowed us to grow and help even more youth. Thanks to Cindy's support of Half the Story, we've been able to expand our reach to youth all over the globe to join our mission in destigmatizing digital wellness. Cindy's support of Sad Girls Club helps us expand oh our programming. God. We've this been able so to sweet. offer more sessions and touch more people all around the world. I know that your support means the world to not just me, but everyone that's a part of the Sad Girls Club oh community. God. Thank you to Cindy for recognizing half the story and advocating for mental health. And that's not all. Our team at Flower Beauty was so inspired by you that they want to make a $2,500 donation oh my God. Um, to the SAG Girls yeah. Club. Oh. And because I am... I'm so, I'm so happy. Thank as you so well much. as I am a half of Flower Beauty, so I <laughs> want to match that and donate another 2500 oh so God. that we can have that for half the story. So that's a total of $5,000 just to say thank you. Use it to the way you see fit and keep doing what you're doing. Because Thank you so, so, so much. This means so much. I always feel like I'm not, not doing enough for them and like this means the world. This is exactly why we partnered with them. So thank you. You're very so much. thank I you really so much. It.